Is there anyone who'd like to communicate with us here? Thank you very much. Turn the light back out. Ted, you're in my Ted. <laughs> you're in my camera. Ted. Ted. <laughs> Come here, bud. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you idiot. Sit down. It's okay, buddy. We're not mad at you. <laughs> we just you need you to move a little bit, that's all. Thank you very much. Now, is there a female that's with us? Is there a female in this room? If so, please turn on the light. Is there a female in this room? Please turn on the light. Is there a male in this room? Please turn on a flashlight. Is there a male in this room? Please turn on a flashlight. <coughs> We're running out of options here. Is there a thing in the room? Is there a negative entity with us? Please turn on a flashlight. I don't know that negative entities really work. Are you here to, to warn us of something? Anyone who wants to communicate, please turn on a flashlight. Do you remember Karen being here? Is that Our, your sister? Yes. Karen? Karen was my sister that stayed in this room. Is there a relative of Linda's here? Please turn on a flashlight. That's what I mean about you know, we're getting enough responses that something's going on, but not quite real intelligent responses. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get straight answers. That's why I said maybe it's a lot of residual energy. Oh. Thank you very much. Can you say your name? Talk into the box behind you. Say your name. Please turn out the light. We'll ask another question. Is there someone here who opens the doors? Is there someone with us who likes to open the doors at night? The person responsible for opening the doors at night, please turn on the flashlight. The spirit that is responsible for opening the doors, please turn on a flashlight. Try to turn on the flashlight. I saw it flicker. The person responsible for opening the doors at night, please turn on the flashlight. Why do you remain here? Is there someone making you stay here? Is there someone or something that is making you stay here? Is that why you remain here? If so, please turn on the flashlight. Are you being forced to stay here? Please turn on a flashlight. Is there something negative that's in this house? <clears throat> Whoever I'm communicating with right now, if there is something negative in this house, 
please let us know by turning on a flashlight was <laughs> what I was going to say. Oh. Turn the light back out again. Please turn the light back on. <coughs> please turn the light back out. Thank you for that communication. Please turn the light back out. Please turn the light on. I see you trying. <clears throat> Please turn the light back out. Is there a family member here that is trying to protect Linda and Cassidy from something that's negative that's in the house? Please turn on a flashlight. If a family member is here trying to protect this family, from something negative, please turn on the flashlight. And that'll happen sometimes too. If there is something going on of a negative type entity, you know, family members may be here for your protection. Is there something negative here <clears throat> as far as bless you, my as my as. Do you need an inhaler or something? <coughs> Do you have your inhaler? Yeah, I have mine's really bad too. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah. You want some hot tea? No, it's just my lungs are spasming. Want to go downstairs? <coughs> no, <laughs> no, I worked through this. Believe me. Um, <clears throat> It says that time of year, I think, that my asthma is just floored up. <clears throat> Stop it. If there is, I lost my train of thought, <clears throat> what I was driving at. A negative. Is there some kind of a negative entity? Any spirit who is able to communicate with us, let us know if some kind of a negative entity is in this home, whether it be a shadow person or the hooded man any type of a um, negative entity, please give us some kind of a sign by turning on a light. Is there something that's negative here? Please give us some kind of a sign. See, I don't think shadow people will turn on flashlights. I think when you're dealing with that kind of stuff, it's more human entity type of activity. Than shadow people. Yeah, shadow people, I don't think they're into turning on flashlights and stuff. However, now higher level demonic, but it's rare that you're ever going to have those because something had to have been there to open that door. Oh, a light just went on. <clears throat> but something had to have been there to open that door for a high level demonic to come in. And unless you're sitting here, you know, doing some... No, something. we don't do... We're, you know, we're very religious yeah. and... Daddy, come here. But that doesn't mean that something a low level negative maybe came in, like with your sister who That's has what some issues. That thank you for your communication. Please turn the light out. So something negative is here. So come here, Teddy. We're probably communicating with a human entity through the flashlights. I don't think the negative entities are going to communicate through a flashlight. But if they are here because something negative came in, they're here, they feel they need to protect you. So it's a good thing that they're here. Right. You know, they're trying to let you know um, that something else is going on. So is... I'm trying to think of how I can ask it again. That um, <clears throat> Is there some kind of... Um, <clears throat> negative activity going on dealing with some of the issues I don't even know your sister's name Karen yeah you you ask the questions is there is there some kind of activity come that here, Ted. Ted Ted come here baby <laughs> come here maybe I'll just move this up here I'll, I'll move him well let's do this that way is there a negative activity here, a negative entity or spirit or something that is trying to communicate with us and that was attached to Karen? Is there something that is attachment to Karen that is here? And remains here. Please turn the lights back on again. The EMF meter is sitting at two. It's dropping back down. 
Thank you for that communication. Please turn the light back out. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of felt like that on the phone, that there are two different things going on here besides um, some low level, and this is low level, you know, negative attachment stuff that's going on. But I also felt that there was kind of some human entity stuff going on also. And it makes sense that if there is some negative stuff going on, um, and it could have been brought in by the issues created by your sister, and um, that family members would be here because they're looking out for you. So, I mean, it makes total sense. Although, one thing you have to realize, your family members are never going to hurt you. No, I know. The I... fact that they love you to want to come back and protect you, to let you know that something negative is going on, is a wonderful thing. Right. So there's nothing to ever fear. Is so there someone who opens the doors at night? Is there a family member who opens the doors at night? Also be aware that they're so limited without a physical body. They're so limited with ways to communicate. Just as, although it's probably a little bit harder to open a door, just as they're able to turn the flashlight on and off, and I do make them turn it on and turn it back off again, which means they have to twist it both directions, they also are able to twist a doorknob both oh, directions. so that's why it's easier for them to do. Yes, exactly. So it's kind of the same thing. It's just a little bit harder to open a door than it is that little flashlight. But it's kind of the same thing. They're able to kind of turn it just enough that they get the door to open up. So, and they're so limited with how they can get your attention. So there's only so many ways without a physical body that they can let you know that I'm here. Although right. it terrifies the people well, in the house. Well, it is scary. There's the light. I mean, it is scary when um, you see doors just opening and closing. Yes. And all the way. All the way shut and then all the way opening again. And they don't mean to terrify you. They're just trying to let you know, hey, we are here. You know, so. It's just bizarre. It's bizarre, yeah. It's, see, me, I would have fun all day long with this if this was in my house. You know, it, I'd be all day long trying to communicate, <laughs> so. But I'm, I'm, I'm so used, used to this, nothing bothers me anymore. Yeah, I mean, I, like, it brought tears to my eyes because when I saw the flashlight go off, it's like, wow, first of all, I felt validated. <coughs> And secondly, it's like, wow, if it's a relative that's here that cares so much to be, I felt a relative downstairs. Oh, yeah. Up here, not so much a relative, but downstairs, yes. And I tell you what, I'm going to take this in her bedroom. I feel in her bedroom at peace. I mean, literally, a very calm, very at peace. Maybe